With less than a week until election night, we continue to bring you the latest following voter fraud allegations against city councilor and mayoral hopeful Justin Hurst. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 5 on this Friday. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Carnevale. He and incumbent mayor Dominic Sarno both responding to the claims right here in our Western Mass News studio during a taping of our weekend's Getting Answers program. Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson joins us live for the latest with what the candidates have to say about the allegations. Maria? Abby, Chris, Justin Hurst continuing to deny any wrongdoing. He says he has never and will never pay for votes. Instead, he is pointing the finger at his opponent, Mayor Sarno. Mayor Sarno calling the allegations a voter fraud upsetting. We don't pay anybody for their vote, uh, and we haven't paid anybody for their vote. Just days after allegations of voter fraud came to light, Springfield mayoral candidate Justin Hurst adamantly denying the claims during Friday's taping of Getting Answers with Dave Madsen. But election workers are telling a different story according to sworn affidavits obtained by Western Mass News. Poll workers describing what they saw during the final weekend of early voting saying in part, quote, I observed that approximately 50 percent of the people coming into the election department on Saturday, October 28th, were not registered to vote. I saw a scrawny guy with a light blue hoodie in a lot of Spanish speaking people into the elections department. He said to the people in Spanish, vote for Hearst and you'll get ten dollars. After reviewing this surveillance video you see here, Springfield Elections Commissioner Gladys Oloya Lopez outlining what she saw. Quote, many individuals who were dropped off in the black suburban and black expedition entered City Hall, voted and left in the same aforementioned vehicles. Two women and one man can be seen showing the man in a red, white and blue shirt something. The man then proceeds to take out what appears to be a large bundle of cash and peel off a bill and hands it to each person. But Hearst, maintaining his innocence, is pointing the finger at his opponent, incumbent Mayor Dominic Sarno. We know that this is a coordinated effort from the mayor and his administration to try to sp smear what has been a clean campaign. But Mayor Sarno, who is running for his sixth term and also a guest on Getting Answers, says surveillance footage speaks for itself. Judge Payne indicated to me they viewed a video on it to check that. So it's, it's all there. It's all there and it's unfortunate. Uh, but we want to make sure that we protect the integrity uh, of the election. And we're going to do that. And through, uh, it's made me uh, very concerned and it's very upsetting to me. This matter has been referred to the U.S. Attorney's Office by the Secretary of the Commonwealth's Office. We reached out to the U.S. Attorney's Office. They tell us that they can neither confirm nor deny whether or not there is an ongoing investigation. We also did reach out to the Hamden District Attorney's Office, who is declining to comment on this matter at this time. Meanwhile, you can watch the full Getting Answers episode with Dave Madison on Sunday morning at 11.30 on CBS 3 and ABC 40. For now, reporting live in downtown Springfield, Maria Wilson, Western Mass News.